I'm going to discuss in this presentation is superior limbic keratoconjunctivitis. We'll be discussing introduction, diagnosis, and treatment. Starting with introduction, superior limbic keratoconjunctivitis, abbreviated as SLK, is a relatively uncommon chronic disease of superior limbus and the superior uh, bulbar and tarsal conjunctiva. It affects one or both eyes of middle-aged women approximately 50% of whom have abnormal thyroid function, usually hyperthyroidism. Approximately 3% of patients with thyroid eye disease have SLK. The condition is probably underdiagnosed because symptoms are typically more severe than signs. The course can be prolonged over years, although remission eventually occurs spontaneously. There are similarities to mechanically induced papillary conjunctivitis and a comparable clinical picture has been described with contact lens wear and following upper lid surgery or trauma. The condition is believed to be the result of link related trauma between the upper lid and the superior bulbar conjunctiva, precipitated in many cases by tear film insufficiency and an excess of lax conjunctival tissue. With increased conjunctival movement, there is mechanical damage to the tarsal and the bulbar conjunctival surfaces. The resultant inflammatory response leading to increasing conjunctival edema and redundancy with the cre creation of a self-perpetuating cycle. It may be analogous to conjunctivochelasis affecting the lower bulbar conjunctiva. For diagnosis, inquiry should be made about contact lens wear and previous eyelid surgery or trauma. Symptoms include a foreign body sensation, burning, mild photophobia, mucoid discharge and frequent blinking and are often intermittent. On examination, conjunctiva shows hyperemia of a radial band of the superior bulbar conjunctiva as uh, it is shown in the first figure. This is very specific here, the radial band and this is a macroscopic view. Uh, and it stains with rose bengal and may be best seen macroscopically as it is seen in the picture here. And this is very location specific. Limber pap uh, papillary hypertrophy as it is shown here by the arrow. Uh, and limbal palisades may be lost superiorly. Papillary hypertrophy of the superior uh, tarsal plate which is uh, often having a diffuse velvety appearance uh, shown in the figure here. Light downward pressure on the upper lid results in a fold of redundant conjunctiva crossing the upper limbus. Petechial hemorrhages may be present. Catenization can be demonstrated on a biopsy or impression cytology. On corneal examination, superior punctate corneal epithelium erosions are common and are often separated from the limbus by a zone of normal epithelium. Superior filamentary keratitis develops in about one third of cases uh, and we are going to keep that in mind. Mild superior panis resembling ocosinellus may be seen in long-standing cases. Keratoconjunctivitis sicca is present in only about 50% of cases. Investigations include thyroid function testing and it should be performed if the patient is not known to have a thyroid disease. Biopsy or impression cytology may reveal keratinization of superior bulbar conjunctiva. Coming towards treatment, first of all topical treatment, uh, lubricants uh, especially preservative free to reduce friction between the tarsal and bulbar conjunctiva should be used regularly and frequently. Acetylcysteine 5% or 10% four times daily to break down filaments and provide lubrication uh, as uh, one third of the cases have filamentary keratitis. Mast cell stabilizers and steroids to address any inflammatory component. Steroids may be best used in short intensive courses with rapid tapering and should be reserved for severe cases. Promising results have been reported with topical uh, ribamipide. It's a new drug. 
cyclosporin 0.05% twice daily as primary or adjunctive therapy, particularly in the presence of coexisting keratoconjunctivitis cica, retinoic acid to retard keratinization, autologous serum 20% drops can be beneficial but may require installation up to 10 times a day. Other modalities include soft contact lenses which intervene between the lid and the superior conjunctiva. They are effective in some cases. Interestingly, a unilateral lens may provide bilateral relief. Supratarsal steroid injection, uh, 0.1 ml of triamcinolone, uh, 40 mg per ml, may break the inflammatory cycle. Temporary superior and or inferior punctal occlusion, uh, resection of superior limbal conjunctiva, either in a zone extending 2 mm from the superior limbus or of the area staining with rose bengal, is often effective in resistant disease. Lax conjunctiva is removed with regrowth tending to be firmly anchored. There is no consensus as to whether underlying tenon capsule should be excised. Conjunctival ablation by applying silver nitrate 0.5% or thermopotry to the affected area, uh, not the cautery sticks. Treatment of associated thyroid dysfunction may improve the superior limbic uh, keratoconjunctivitis. So that's it with the uh, superior level keratoconjunctivitis. If you like the lecture, please click on the like button and press the subscribe as well. Thank you.